Derived from Mr. Crayfish's gun mod, Just Enough Guns seamlessly adds firearms to Minecraft with a focus on survival, ensuring both aesthetic appeal and compatibility with the game's style. The mod's primary objective is to encourage players to explore diverse biomes for resources essential in crafting guns at available workbenches, and crafting the most potent firearms demands the rarest resources. It's crucial to note that guns and attachments experience wear and tear, with lower durability increasing the likelihood of jams. This design in just enough guns ensures a semi-balanced experience that complements rather than overrides the core Minecraft gameplay. In the current release, the mod boasts nine fully operational guns, with the promise of expanding this arsenal with each subsequent update. Additionally, expect diverse attachments featuring unique stats and custom models for the majority of the guns. This allows you to tailor your firearm to suit your personal preferences. The mod also adds a recycler station, if you really want to dispose of a gun, you can recycle it to get a portion of the original materials used. Similar to Mr. Crayfish's gun mod, you can also attach accessories to all firearms. This mod strives to combine the crafting and infrastructure elements of Create with the firepower inspired by Flan's mod. The goal is to craft an old-school cool gun mod that prioritizes survival and crafting progression. You can use the drawing press to transform brass sheets into bullet casings. Drawing a brass sheet multiple times results in various types of bullet casings, including pistol, rifle, grenade, and artillery shell casings. Once you obtain a casing, employ a deployer to fill it with gunpowder and then insert a metal nugget to finalize the bullet. Also, the stamping press operates similarly to the mechanical press. Right-click this machine with a template, position a metal or composite sheet beneath it, and it will manufacture parts based on the template. Additionally, you can shift right-click with an empty hand to detach the template. Guns are loosely divided among multiple eras, starting with paper cartridge black powder rifles and working up to early Cold War. The mod also introduces a robot dog, giving you the opportunity to construct your own faithful companion and equip them with a variety of upgrades. You can give them a dye to change their color, or give them an armor upgrade to improve their defense. Give them a chest so they can carry items. Give them a scanner so they can detect dropped items and retrieve them. Lastly, give them a gun so they can commit sins. Jump animation is a mod that alters the jump animation in Minecraft. Falling or taking damage will briefly decrease your movement speed as you recover.
Additionally, falling from significant heights will further reduce your movement speed and trigger an additional animation. To execute the cannonball move, simply fall from a height of at least 5 blocks, initiating the falling animation, then press the spacebar once while falling to strike the cannonball pose. This mod adds two new playable classes to the game, to complement the roleplay experience. It allows you to explore craftable Fell Paladin and Fell Priest equipment, with bonuses to boost spell damage and healing. To unlock Fallen Paladin spells, create the Fallen Paladin scriptures on the spell binding table, and you can use any melee weapon OT cast spells from the equipped Fallen Paladin scriptures. Dark Heal heals you 10 to 15 health point. Crippling Blow strikes the area in front of you, dealing 7 to 11 physical damage and crippling the target's hit. Rage Infusion applies the Rage status effect to you, enhancing your healing power with its strength proportional to the effect. Flesh Mending heals you or a friendly target, or it can be used to smite an enemy target. Healing Cone can heal players while damaging enemies. Dark Empowering strengthens your healing power, with the effect becoming strange. This mod allows you to walk at half the normal speed, letting you leisurely admire the beautiful shaders and god rays as you return from your farm. Additionally, it introduces a charming little animation for slow walking, enhancing immersion and role-playing experiences. By default, the slow walking is set to the C key, but you can easily customize this in the movement section of the key bindings within the configuration settings. This mod introduces a thrilling addition to Minecraft, a randomly generated dungeon nestled within the lush jungle biome. The adventure begins as you discover treasure maps, hidden in buried chests or shipwrecks, guiding you to this enigmatic dungeon. Delve into the heart of the jungle, armed with a map and a sense of curiosity, to unravel the secrets within and claim the treasures that await. Held Item Tooltips is a straightforward mod, when switching items, the tooltips above the hotbar provide a wealth of additional information, such as tool durability, enchantments, shulker box contents, potion effects, rocket durations, and much more. The mod is fully customizable, allowing you to tweak font colors, adjust order, choose the number of lines, and activate extra information. This mod is a fabric port of the original Fog mod, offering additional features and tweaks. Additionally, the 1.20 versions are now compatible with Sodium. Fog Looks Good now enhances the depth and atmosphere of Minecraft by adjusting the fog start, improving visuals while maintaining the same view distance. Additionally, it offers configurable settings for fog start and end, K fog start and color, as well as weather related fog. This mod enhances structures by allowing them to respawn after a set time, ensuring that players can revisit them and preventing the world from being filled with empty structures. Respawn conditions are customizable, allowing for whitelisting and blacklisting or manual intervention. This mod enhances the Minecraft world with seven new biomes, including autumnal biomes, enhanced cherry groves, luminescent biomes, plant decorations, and more. The enhanced cherry grove also includes corresponding building blocks and cherries. Note that while the mod is designed to work well with most other biome mods, such as biomes o plenty, compatibility is not guaranteed, so please make backups. This is an unofficial fork of the True Darkness mod, bringing it to Forge 1.20.